Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you are all well and safe. In today's video, I am going to show you how to make a simple body lotion that can be used by both adults and children. This is a perfect formula if you are a beginner in cosmetic formulation. Here I have listed the ingredients I used in this recipe. The measurements are in percentages and a total of 100% will give you 100 grams of lotion. As you can see, we have sorted out the ingredients into three phases. The oil phase, the water phase, and the cooling phase. Guys, your work area and the equipment you use should always be clean and disinfected, as this is very important for the quality of your final product. And this falls under safety in the Cosmetic Good Manufacturing Practices Guideline, also known as GMP. To prepare this lotion, we start with the oil phase. And for this, we need a glass beaker or a heat resistant container. Pour your oil into the beaker. I am using refined avocado oil for this recipe. Lotions and creams formulated with refined avocado oil are known to keep the skin soft, smooth and glowing, especially sensitive and dry skin. This oil is easily absorbed by the skin and is ideal for use in baby care products, body lotions, and rich creams. You can of course use any oil of your choice, depending on your skin type. I add in the emulsifier, and I am using emulsifying wax NF. As stated by the supplier, emulsifying wax NF can be used to produce lotions and creams, depending on the concentration used. We keep the beaker aside, and prepare the water face. For the water phase, we also need a glass beaker or a heat resistant container. I pour my distilled water into the beaker. You can of course replace distilled water with floral waters, also known as hydrosols. Some examples of floral waters are lavender hydrosol, organic German chamomile hydrosol, or organic rose hydrosol. What you choose to use really depends on the needs of your skin. So please do your research to find out what will work best for you as they have different benefits for the skin. Another advantage of using hydrosol is if you choose to use a hydrosol that already has its own aroma, there will be no need to add fragrance to your formulation. Many of us use essential oils in our formulas certainly not only for their fragrance but also for the benefits they offer to the skin. Unfortunately, Using essential oils in formulas is a bit complex and needs to be well understood as they can be harmful to the skin if used incorrectly. There are many books on the market about essential oil safety guidelines in cosmetic formulation. Please make sure you do your research for you do not want to destroy your skin and the skin of others if you are marketing your product. I have been a victim of it and almost destroyed my skin because I didn't know any better. If you are a beginner and do not yet have a good understanding of how to use essential oils in cosmetic formulation, or if you are someone who do not want to use essential oils in your formulas, using hydrosols is a good option. The next step is to mix the vegetable glycerin with xanthan gum and add to the water. Glycerin acts as a humectant in this recipe, which attracts moisture to the skin, keeping it moisturized at all times. And the xanthan gum acts as a stabilizer and viscosity modifier. Please make sure you only use cosmetic grade xanthan gum. Xanthan gum ensures a smooth texture to the final product and provides a pleasant skin application. We mix the xanthan gum in glycerin before adding it to the water because xanthan gum, which is also a gelling agent, tends to form lumps when added directly to water. Mixing it with glycerin will prevent lumps from forming. After adding in the glycerin and xanthan gum mixture to the water, mix well until the xanthan gum is well dissolved in the water. After mixing, place both beakers in a water bath and heat on medium heat to about 70 degrees Celsius using the double boil method. When both faces are ready, remove the beakers from the water bath and quickly pour the hot water face into the hot oil face. Mix first with a hand whisk for about 15 seconds.
then with a stick blender for about 2 minutes or until the mixture is homogenized. You can mix using an electric hand mixer. The disadvantage of using an electric hand mixer is your final product may have too much air bubbles in it. Mixing with a stick blender can also attract air to the emulsion when the stick blender is not fully covered in the emulsion. It takes about 30 minutes for the emulsion to reach its final consistency. During the time in between, stir with a hand whisk occasionally. When the temperature has cooled down to about 40 degrees Celsius, you can add the heat sensitive ingredients. First, the vitamin E. Vitamin E prevents the oil used in this recipe from going rancid too quickly. Mix well. I also add the preservative. Always make sure to use a broad spectrum preservative as this will protect your product from bacteria, yeast and mold. Also make sure that the preservative you use is active at the pH level you want your lotion to have. This rule actually applies to all the ingredients you use for it will influence the stability of your final product. As you can see, the emulsion gets thicker as it cools down. The next step is to test the pH value of the lotion. To do this, I add 2 grams of the lotion to 8 grams of distilled water. Mix well. Then dip my pH strip into the mixture for 10 seconds. Remove it and see where the pH value is at. As you can see, the pH value is around 6. I wish to bring it down to around 5. To lower the pH value from 6 to 5, I add 0.05 grams of citric acid to the emulsion, mix it well, and then measure the pH value again. To obtain an accurate pH result, please always use a digital pH meter. If you decide to use other ingredients to make your own lotion, the pH value may be different from the one in this tutorial, and you may need to either raise or lower it, depending on what you want the pH to be. To adjust the pH of your formula, start by adding just a pinch of your pH solution. Measure it and see where the pH is at before deciding to add more. If you add too much, you may be faced with a situation where you will need to lower or raise it again. After mixing in the citric acid, we test the pH value again. It is around 5, which is perfect. Comparing both pH strips, can you see the difference in the color of the strips? At this stage, I add in my perfume oil. As I used distilled water and not a hydrosol in this recipe, I am adding an allergy-free perfume oil to it. Then I mix until all the ingredients are well blended. After mixing, I pour my body lotion into a clean sterilized container. The shelf life of a product is determined by a stability test. If you are planning to sell your product, you will need to perform a 3-month stability test, which is accurate. However, to get an idea of the shelf life of this body lotion, look up the shelf life of each ingredient you have used, and the ingredient that expires first will determine the shelf life of the body lotion. The main benefit of a body lotion is to moisturize the surface of the skin, creating a layer that traps water and nutrients, preventing dryness, and promoting overall skin health. Before deciding on the ingredients to use, think about your skin type and how much moisture your skin needs. If you have very dry skin, look for thicker oil-based formulas with higher concentrations of emollients and moisturizing agents that work by forming a protective layer on the surface of your skin and create a barrier to prevent moisture loss. If you have normal to dry skin, you can create a lighter body lotion with a high water face. This body lotion can be used on a daily basis in the morning and in the evening by adults and children. Guys, we have come to the end of this tutorial. If you have enjoyed watching the video, please do not forget to give it a like, leave a comment, share the video, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for your support. I hope to see you in my next video as I look forward to sharing my next formula with you. Bye-bye and have a wonderful day.